For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. Kitchen thing here or something? Is that the kitchen? Well, oh, there in New Hampshire's North Korea. Yeah, yeah, like like the uh, you know the um, the smoke detector thing at the CAC or whatever. I think that's totally wrong. They shouldn't be doing that. The, and, and militarizing themselves and gearing themselves. Up. I mean, Sergeant Short drives around. He's a sergeant now. Um, Jason Short from the Keene PD has an M4 rate unlocked, ready to ready to go, right in on in front of his cruiser. So. You know, it's like, uh, where does yeah, it end? As long as I can have one. Where, where does it end? <laughs> yeah. Where does it yeah. end? You know, the, the, the public needs to gain their jurisdiction back. They need to be more powerful than the government officials, and it's turning. The government officials have more, well, they think they I, have I, more I, I don't know. I don't so much care about them having this stuff. It's the way they fund it, the way they take the money from us to have their weapon. The and I can't, I can't take money from them to have a weapon. Or calling us domestic terrorists. Or calling activists domestic terrorists. That's... They're lucky they don't get, you know, 50 people on a class action lawsuit against just that phrase alone. I'll give it time. But, but yeah, one of the things that's interesting about you is, and you, 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 you personify New Hampshire in many ways, because uh, you, that, that is, it is more normal for, a, like, if you're gonna, going to hear some kind of violent joke or something like that, it's more normal to come from, a, from an average person or from a person who's lived in New Hampshire for a long time than one of us very scared people that has fled here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, that, and that's one thing about being banned. Banned from the CAC. I had I conversed with some people online going back and forth. Some of them were for it, some of them were against it. But I said, you know, this Rich Paul thing got you guys paranoid as heck because I heard some say, oh, I was an undercover cop. Oh, he's an informant. Oh, he, he's part of this group, uh, Free Keen from Free Status Group. Boy, oh, he's in it, you know. And, and I've heard these, you know, offset things. I'm like, listen, I, I am me. I have no masters, no slaves. I am, I am who I am. If if CAC has rules about, you know, not being violent or violent rhetoric, that that's you know I will honor that because it's your place. It's not mine. I was there just to you know, conversing with Pete and some people that I have business with, you yeah. know. Other than that, I wasn't there to hang out. I, and I'm well. Not, see, that's the thing. I mean, if you take if you went back twenty years in time or ten years in time, I would not have thought twice about making a joke of that kind. Yeah. Now I have to be very careful about what I say because it's all very real, you know. Yeah. So well, I think it's with with average New Hampshireites, or or at least people who haven't you know fled here for some reason, um, it's just it, it, they're just talking like normal people. Well, there's in a, way. a difference. There's a difference between kidding around about violence and talking about violence with intent. It's two different things. Yep. And if you know me and heard the whole you know statement, you know that I'm taking the city of Keene to court instead of driving a truck through the front door. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't be taking them to court. If I didn't do things in peaceful means, yeah. I wouldn't be taking them to court. Yeah. So I think actions speak louder than what people's rhetoric is. And, and, and rhetoric is subjective, I think. You can come to any conclusion you want and come to fi five different different you know, oppositions about someone saying, oh, they're going to drive a truck through all oh, your band or whatever. I honor it. I understand why they're freaked out because, you know, the FBI wanted to wear a wire in there. Yeah. So I understand their, their, their concern. I understand that. Now, well, did, I'm did, not going to change who I am because yeah. I got banned from the You don't CAC. have to go to the CAC. I don't have to go to the CAC. You know, <laughs> I go and I do. I don't think it's that important. But, but, but uh, I, like uh, I do have a question. Kind of would you ideologically, how would you identify yourself? Uh, a constitutionalist. Okay, that's what I figured. Yeah. All right. Yeah, a diehard uh, constitutionalist. Not but the not, not, a, not a conservative? Again. I'm not a conservative because okay. I don't believe in either one anymore. I see. Okay. I think I lost faith in, you know, the Democrat side and I lost faith in the Republican side. The whole process is just dirt. Uh, Taklidi, Taklidi America. You, you still consider yourself pro-war, though? Um, I'm not pro-war. I'm pro. I'm pro-veteran. I see. Okay. I think they should be taken care of. As far as the war goes, I'm with Ron Paul. We have no money to go. Oh, okay. So your, your position is your position has changed since you were holding that sign. No, a year no. Ago. The sign the sign was stating that we we should stay because of um, per personally for the veterans that actually fought for something there already for years and they believe in what they were doing. Let them finish what they started because we shouldn't be jumping into something we didn't start. It. But as far as us going, we shouldn't have went to begin with. I see. But if you're going to start something, finish it. Yeah. Um, as far as Iraq goes, that was false pretenses. I'm, I'm with everybody on that. 
you know, that it was a lie. It was a bold-faced lie. We went there for, you know, personal agendas or, or, you know, to make certain statements, whatever. And a bunch of people got killed over it. But as far as, you know, posting up how many soldiers die all the time, I needed to let people know how many Iraqis died and how many Afghans died. That's the sign. I had the yeah. number of all the deaths, you know, yeah. something like 550,000. It's out of control. You know, it's yeah. out of control. LRN.FM. 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to lrn.fm. Feds don't want you to hear them.